Hello, in this video today I'm going to be showing you how to log into Weebly and how to set up your website and pages. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the address bar at the top and we're going to go to students.weebly.com. From here it will then take us to the normal login screen where we're going to put in the information we have been given. logged in it will then allow us to create our first website for this this will be the website that our drink is all about so we're going to have to really think about that as we create this as you can see I'm currently doing this in Internet Explorer this is because for me Google Chrome stopped working so if it stops working for you you may need to do this as well so I'm going to use a domain of Weebly and I'm going to give it the title of my drink probably if it's already taken, you may need to put a small word at the start, maybe the black apple, or maybe put a number at the end for the moment. So it could have black apple three, black apple one. I wonder if that'll be free. Yeah, we could go black apple one, and then we'll click continue. So that our whole group can be working on things, the first thing I would do is set up the pages that you'll see at the top. So to do that, we click Pages, and we then click Plus. As you can see here, you've only got five pages, so it's not very many. So I'd be tempted to make a standard page for our drink. Then click Save. And then maybe add another one about the design. You may have needed one about where the drink came from. You may need just one final page that will be about maybe your adverts, maybe one that focuses on, I don't know, it depends where you decide as a group. So I'm just going to put this one in just now as adverts and click save. From there, then each person could be logged in and changing the different elements of this. This gives us the basic place to start with. When you've done all that, make sure you go to the top and you click publish. And then click continue if this pops up. It should tell you when it's been published and you can then just cross that off. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.